Hello welcome to the video. Due to monetization issues we will be having to add commentary. This will take up a lot of time editing, so to compensate we will have to make shorter videos. Alright guys, we're gonna go prank my mom. See her reaction. Hey mom. I just want you to say, I just want to say what's up. Alligator is so ferocious it'll kill a lion, but I can kill a, I can kill an alligator with my bare hands. Little old E.T. How? They say when a, you want to kill an alligator, you kill it right after it eats, because right after it eats, it gets satisfied and it goes to a state like it's almost paralyzed. Some of y'all in this room, were you paralyzed? You had a little success? You've done what nobody else in your family has done, and now you chilling? Come on, you ain't hungry no more? Next hunting, I need you to stay focused. Why? You should still be hungry. What have you eaten that's got you satisfied? What have you done? What have you accomplished that got you so full? A balloon and fire, never a winning combination, unless you have the secret ingredient, water. Water is amazing. Watch this. I'm going to do it again with a clear balloon. The water goes into the balloon like this, and then we're going to blow it up. What's amazing about this is you, you think the balloon's gonna pop, but actually the water draws the heat away from the latex and we hope that it doesn't burn. So watch, we light the candle once again. And now look at this, the heat, ah, get ready, look at this. The heat now is being pulled away from the latex by the water. Through convection now, it gets hot, rises up to the top, it's cooler there. It keeps doing this until it finally boils. How long will that take? I don't know. You're going to figure that out. See, when you have little kids that are crying like this all crazy, you send grandma in to handle it. <laughs> Where's the belt? Give me the belt. Let's go. It's enough already. I'm done. You're gonna be quiet? Yes or no? Oh, now they're silent. This is what happens. Now they're silent. Uh-huh. Babe. Huh? Did you do any phone? None. Just chill. Not doing anything crazy on your phone right now? I barked in front of my mom's boss today. She came over and I thought she was a stranger, so I barked at her. I went, Whoa! And I almost got my mom fired for being weird! Walmart and Target have been stepping up their press-on nail game. Like, stilettos? Are you kidding me? I'm too cheap to get my nails done. I used to, but now I have student loans, so here we are. Yeah, let's get them on. Eight dollars for all this. You get a file, a cuticle, pusher thingy, and glue in the nail. I'm gonna scratch somebody's eyes out in these things. Oh, they're bad. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Eee, let's get them on. O-M-G. These look fantastic. Honestly, so long quality. 10 out of 10, Walmart, you are doing great.
If you have a dog, take over the territory and see what happens. Hi there. I know you've been scrolling for a while and your eyes are looking pretty dry, but I got you. Put your eye up to the screen. Got some eye drops. One, two, okay, next eye. One, two. Now, isn't that better? Go back to scrolling. You may not know this, but there are only two ways in which we humans perceive time. And I'm gonna ask you a question so you can find out which one you are. If I tell you that Wednesday's noon meeting has been moved forward by two hours, do you now think the meeting is at 2 p.m. or at 10 a.m.? If you think it's at 2 p.m., that means that you have the ego-moving perspective of time. You see yourself as moving forward through time. If you now think the meeting is at 10 a.m., this means you have the time-moving perspective of time. You see yourself as stagnant and as time moving forward towards you. Now, you might think that this is insane that someone even sees the world or time differently than you, but it's true. So ask your friends, ask your family this question, and bond with them or find out that they actually see the world completely differently. <laughs> Bruh, I've literally been chased by a stupid goat this whole run. Look at this thing! It won't stop running after me! I don't know what to do! I'm I'm like, I don't know what's going on! Hi, I'm Grandma Pat. I'm just sitting here doing my dot to dot for adults. It goes from 1 to 450 dots. And I have to put on my glasses because I'm getting old and the dots are getting smaller. <laughs> so I'm looking at my watch now and it's time for me to get ready for bed. So good night all. Jason, if you had told me a year and a half ago today that the guy taking my order at Outback Steakhouse would one day be my husband, I would have never believed you. Look at us, we've made it. We've gone through ups and downs, highs and lows. And we're here today in front of our friends and family and God getting married. I vow to not get mad at you every single time you keep the toilet seat up. And that's a lot. And I promise to always love you no matter what, even when it's the Super Bowl and the Eagles lose. So obviously I make a lot of videos talking about annoying things that people do on Snapchat and I get a lot of comments like this saying, well, what do you want us to post? So let's go through some stuff. Posting don't snap me or getting blocked or anything along those lines is so unnecessary and literally just begging for attention. If you really don't want people to snap you, just log out or don't open your snaps. Again, posting snapback to remove blue or whatever is first of all really rude because most of the time it's pretty easy to figure out who it is. Um, if you don't want those people on your best friends list, just snap them less. You don't need to make an announcement. Lastly, snapback to start a streak, don't get salty if I say no. If you just put the snapback to start a streak, that's okay, but adding on the don't get salty if I say no is really pointless and if you're that concerned about who you have a snap streak with that you're going to reject people and make them feel bad when they ask, maybe you shouldn't put it on your story. If you are enjoying this content so far take a moment and subscribe right now for more of the content you enjoy. Why do Facebook moms love to lie? I swear, I see a post every day that's like, Today my 36-month-old looked up at me and said, 
Mommy, why are people fighting? We should put our differences aside and attack the systematic racism in our country. Like, no, he didn't. Yeah, my mom said we're probably just gonna go to Florida this summer. <gasps> That's cute. Yeah, we're going to Greece because, you know, we have a house there. Yeah, that should be fun. Anyways, I think I'm really starting to like Justin. Yeah, you might want to be careful with that because he literally Snapchats me all the time and he's always asking me to hang out. Oh, okay. Yeah. So did you find your dress for this weekend? Yeah, it's like blue and short. Uh, blue? You know that's been my signature color for like years. I, I just didn't think it would be that big of a <laughs> Well, it is. So find a new dress. <laughs> Look what happened to me at work today. I just remembered I had yogurt in the fridge. I was really excited because I wanted to lick the lid, but look what happened. <laughs> <laughs>